bless me now, my Savior. Say, God, I come to to thee. that says oh clap your hands all ye people yes. amen shout unto God with the voice of triumph amen clap your hands all ye people shout unto God with the voice of triumph hallelujah we all know what it is to clap your hands do you know what it is hallelujah to shout unto God with the voice of triumph hallelujah do you know what it is to clap your hands? Hallelujah. Do you know what it is to lift your voice and to praise the God of your salvation? Hallelujah. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful to be in the house of God. Hallelujah. On this day. Hallelujah. He's already worked a miracle. He's already made a way. Hallelujah. He's already opened the door. He has already provided. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. Hallelujah. Our God is mighty. Our God, hallelujah, is a saving God. Hallelujah. We all, we wish we want to welcome you all to the services of the Community Refuge Church of Christ, located in Manalapin, New Jersey, under the leadership of Bishop Fred Rubin and First Lady Teresa Rita Rubin. Hallelujah. We are a church who believes in the word of God. Hallelujah, the, uh, the rightly divided word of God. We are a church who believes in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We are a church who believes, hallelujah, in the indwelling of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, hallelujah, as referenced in Acts 2 and 38. We are a Bible believing. We are a church who loves one another. We are a church who loves to praise and worship the God that we know who is our God, our God, our Savior. Hallelujah. And we invite you all today. We're glad, first of all, that you have chosen to be with us on today. We are glad that you've taken the time, hallelujah, to come and to worship with us. And we ask you now to fellowship and to praise God with us. At this time, we're going to ask our own Elder Nicholson to come. Amen. And he's going to pray for us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we look to him? Thank you, Jesus. Eternal God, our Father, Thank you, Jesus. and our Savior. Lord, we're so grateful to you, and we're so thankful to you. Hallelujah. But it is another chance, yes, Jesus. another opportunity, oh God, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. in which you allowed us to come together one more time. Lord, I thank God. So God, we are so glad so glad to be in the number Amen. one more time. Lord, I thank you. We thank you right now, Lord, for a portion thank you, Jesus. of life, help, 
and strength. Yes. Yes. We thank you right now, oh God, even more for knowing just who you are. Yes. And you are God. Yes. And besides you, there is not another. Yes. God, we bless you. Yes. We bless yes. you right yes. now. God, we praise you right now. We give you honor and glory because you are the God of this universe. Everything is subject to your authority, oh God. We can't move unless you allow us to move, oh God. But God, in that we move and we have our being because of you, oh God. But Lord, as we come this morning, we didn't come for no outside show. Praise and to magnify the name of Jesus. For you declare, if I lift it up from the earth, I draw all men unto me, O oh God. But Lord, we bless you most of all, Lord, for the anointing of the Holy Ghost, oh God. For it is the anointing God that breaks every yoke, destroy the works of the enemy. Send it this morning. Send it. Send it. Send it in Jesus' name. Oh God, I bless you. I bless you, oh God. I reverence you, oh God, because I thank you for it. Because you are. God, you are God and nobody else, oh God, like you, oh God. For you know everything and you are in every place at the same time. And God, you got all power. Not some power, but all power is given unto you. For we bless you, oh God. For the Holy Ghost, oh God. Move this morning. Move, God, I pray. God, as they drive by, God, touch some car this morning. God, I pray, Lord, for your anointing, oh God. That destroys the yoke. Bless him. Bless us, oh God. Bless the word yeah. as it come forth, oh God. Anoint your man servant in the name of Jesus. When we have done all we can do, God, we can say it's good for us to be here. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Thank you.
Lord my God. Hallelujah. So we come out to worship God this morning and to tell him, God, I thank you for doing it for me. I thank you for doing it for me. I thank you. I praise your name. I glorify you. I magnify you. So the song says, what a mighty God. We serve. What a mighty God. We serve. Yes, sir.
Scripture this morning, Thank hallelujah. You, Jesus. hallelujah. Be coming from John chapter 6, yes. verses 31 through 40. Thank you, Jesus. And it reads Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, He has given them bread from heaven to eat. 32. 
Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not the bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For bread, for the bread of God is which cometh down from heaven, and give it life unto the world. Verse 34, Then says they unto him, Lord, every more, evermore, give us this bread. Verse 35, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Hallelujah. Verse 36, But I said unto you, that ye also have seen me and believe not, and that the Father giveth me, and all that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. For I come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this, and this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I should lose nothing, but shall rise it up again at the last day. And I will close with verse 40, and it says, And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believe it on him may have everlasting life and I will raise him up at the last day. Hallelujah to the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. I stand before you now to bring our announcements for the week. Amen. I pray that you would govern yourselves accordingly. On Monday... Uh, Monday through Friday, actually, Pastor Ruben um, does his, uh, I call them noon reflections. Um, if you don't know, he does a daily reflection. And then so at noon, he's been uh, taking the opportunity to present his thoughts live about the reflection for the day. Um, so I would encourage you to take advantage of both the morning reflection and the reflections that are being done at noon on Facebook Live by Pastor Ruben. On Tuesdays, uh, Tuesday evenings, we do, uh, we have Bible study in the evening, and that's done from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. And the details for uh, the online Bible study can be found on any one of our uh, social media sites, um, which includes Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, and um, yeah, I think that's all of them. And uh, so we encourage you again to take advantage of those. Also on Tuesday, Tuesday has traditionally been our fast day. So we encourage you to fast with us on Tuesdays. On Wednesdays, uh, Wednesday mornings at 6.30 a.m., we have morning prayer um, on the conference line. And, uh, and then the, also at 7 p.m., we have youth Bible study um, that's done by Elder Bullock and Sister Janelle jointly. Our Sunday services uh, begin at 10.30 with education hour um, at 11.15. We perform meditation and prayer at 11.30 is our morning worship service. Uh, on Facebook Live at 12 p.m., um, again, is our continuation of our Sunday services. But we go live on Facebook and Pastor Ruben delivers the word at that time. Amen. So again, we pray that you would uh, govern yourselves and utilize those services as you see fit. Our prayer request or prayer list for the, the week includes Minister Edward Tucker, Brother George Height, Elder Samuel Bullock, Sister Angela Tennant, the Roach family, Brother Peter Miles, Sister Shani Peace, Sister Dorothy Wright. And we pray that she had surgery this week, so you all keep her in special prayer as she recovers from heart surgery. Uh, Sister Vera Fitzpatrick, the Gorman family, Brother Charlie Fitzpatrick, Brother Emmanuel Lundy, Leroy Wainwright, Sister Melissa Rennie, Pat Bodie's father, Anybody who has health issues anywhere, man, just call their name. Man, we pray for, uh, a special prayer for our first responders. Um, we pray for our church mothers. We pray for our the refuge, the community refuge church family as a whole, and for our country. 
Amen. We pray that you would, again, call these names in prayer throughout the week as you seek the Lord. Amen. That he would move on our behalf. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Because we know that God is a miracle worker. Yes, God is a prayer answering yes, God. God can do all things and that there is nothing too hard for the God that we serve. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. As I was preparing for church this morning, my mind went back to about 10 years ago when Lady Reuben, she got up and she said to find a secret place. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And it may have been over 10 years, have been over 10 years ago, but she said to find that secret place in God. And when you get there, you stay there. Yes. And I thank God because that's been resonating in my spirit to find that secret place in God. And what we're going through now with this pandemic and all of that, we have to find our secret place in God and stay there. Yes. We have to stay right there because God is doing something for us in that secret yes. place. Yes. And I thank God for being saved in a day and time in which we're living in now. Because, you know, Lady Ruben and I, I love hearing her speak and, and the things that she say, it always resonates and it stays with me. And she said last week that the Lord is soon to come. He is on his way. He's knocking on the door. And I shared with a sister in Christ yesterday, you know, like in, our, in my job, we, have, we service students with special needs and it's called an IEP, an Individualized Education Plan. And so, and I shared with her that we have an IMP in Christ, IEP in Christ. Because we all need to be educated in God. So we all have that individualized education plan in Christ. We need to be educated because God is on his way back. And if you're not ready and if you don't understand, you need to connect with Bishop or Lady Reuben or somebody so you can understand that the Lord is soon to come. And if you're left here, what's going to take place? And I have no intention of being left here. So I develop every day my IEP in Christ. And I said, Lord, I want you to teach me more of your ways and teach me more about you. So that I can grow in you, I can learn in you. So that when you come back, I'm gone. I'm gone, I'm gone. And I just praise God for a pastor and a first lady that teaches us the word of God and we can live with that and we can keep it and it can resonate in our spirit and I thank God for being free to worship free to worship there is none like being free to worship God hallelujah I will give you all my worship I will give you all you alone I love to worship You alone are worthy of all praise I will give you all my worship I will give you all my praise You alone I love to worship You alone
Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah right where you are. Just bless his name. That's right. Give him glory and give him honor because he deserves all of, all of the praise. You know, there are different kinds of praise. Yes, uh, it is. You can praise God uh, collectively, but, but most of the time you got to learn how to praise God by yourself. You got to learn how to praise God without the atmosphere that is conducive for praising God. You know, when we praise God together, we create an atmosphere that is conducive and makes you praise. It causes you to praise God. We need that kind, but we also need another kind of atmosphere. Meaning that when your atmosphere is turned upside down and there is nobody else around and you can't feel it, you can't feel it, you can't, you don't seem to be able to touch nothing, you don't, you don't feel no anointing falling, you don't, you don't feel nothing. But that's when Paul said, he says, I will serve the Lord with my mind. That means my mind knows something about God. Hallelujah. That, that came from my spirit. And so we got to learn how to go forth with my mind. Go forth with your mind. What do you know? You know God? Do you know God is good? Yes. So with my mind, I say it. I don't feel it, but I say it. I start speaking it. And when I begin to speak that, I begin to create my own atmosphere. Hallelujah. Where God comes in and inhabits the praises of his people. My thought this morning to you is get ready. Get ready. Somebody say get ready. Hallelujah. Witness somebody else say get ready. Because something is getting ready to happen that is supernatural, that is extraordinary. Hallelujah. That's beyond all the things that we have seen. And I'm encouraging you to, to live and walk in this kind of, kind of faith. The kind of faith, hallelujah, that will bring forth the miracle that you need. We need to allow this faith to become a part of us in our daily walk, our daily lives. Hallelujah. When, when God has spoken to us, and I believe God has already spoken to us. And for those things to happen, we need to get ready for it and prepare yourselves for a miracle anybody preparing for a miracle i'm preparing for a miracle hallelujah well you say, well how do you prepare for a miracle well if you don't know the clark sisters kind of helped us out they said you got to start looking for it hallelujah you got to start looking for the miracle Hallelujah. You know how you go to the door, you're expecting to receive a mail, you're expecting to receive a guest. You got to start looking for it, looking for it. And then they said you got to start expecting it. Hallelujah. You got to start expecting it. They went on to say that you got to start feeling what is intangible. And you got to start seeing what is invisible. What am I doing? I'm preparing to receive my miracle. Hallelujah. That means I'm studying the word. I'm in fellowship and relationship with God so that I can feel, so that I can see, so that I can expect what God has coming 
for me. We got to start acting like those two and three years old, those two and three and five and ten year old. When you start telling them, look, I'm going to take you to the amusement park. We're going to go out. They go, they don't wait. They start right then, begin to praise. They, be, they start to get excited right then. We got to have the same excitement that when God spoke to us and we heard what he said, we got to go forth now before it happens. Start praising him exactly like you have received because the Bible says that when you believe it, if you can believe it and you receive it, it shall be done unto you. I don't know about you, but I'm going to keep on encouraging you to get ready. Hallelujah, because something is coming. And uh, as Bishop preached, that you don't want to be one to just see it. You want to be one to experience what God has coming down the road. Be encouraged, saints. Let this next week, hallelujah, re you remove stuff out of your way. You have the power to do that. You have the power to pull down strongholds. Things that block you from receiving it and believing. You have the power to pull those things out. This week, let's go forth and pulling down those things so that we can see, so that we can expect, so that we can feel and expect God's miracle to come forth in Jesus' name. Can we just give him a praise for it? This is personal. Can you just give him a personal praise? Hallelujah for what he's going to do in your life. Hallelujah in the ones that you love, the ones that are around you. Be encouraged, saints, in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm running, trying to make a hundred. Well, 99 and a half won't do. Oh, Lord, I'm running, trying to make a hundred. 99 and a half won't do. Run all, 
but one received the prize. I'm looking for the prize, y'all. I'm looking for the prize, not an earthly prize, but I'm looking for my heavenly prize. So it says, so run that ye may obtain. And every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. You keep yourself disciplined and under control in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown, one that will not fade away. It's in the eternal. And I therefore so run, not as uncertainty. I know why I'm running. I know why I'm running. I'm trying to make a hundred. So fight. So not as one that beateth the air, but keep my body under subjection and bring it into subjection lest that by any means when i have preached to others yeah. we talk and we live and we say all kind of things to other people how they should be saved and how they should do this but i better do it myself so that i will not be a castaway Paul did not want to be disqualified from the race. So he did all the stuff that he was supposed to do, just like we supposed to do. I don't know about you, but I'm running as hard and as fast as I can toward the finish line. I got the prize in sight. And so I am running in that direction. I'm making everything and every day, in every word, in every prayer, and every make make it count i'm not sloppy in my living and i didn't suffer all the pain and frustration and the fear and all the doubt and all not to make it count we got to make it count now there's one word in what the scripture that i read it says beateth the air and they say that that is a boxing metaphor and i thought about muhammad ali when he used to fight and when he fought he won and the first thing he did was he beat his opponent in his mind and then when he got in the ring he would dance around and dance around till he wore out the opponent and then he gave him that that soccer punch that made it count and knocked him out. And that's how he became a winner. And we got to get on the same page as Muhammad Ali with that right. strategy. All we right. got to win some of these battles that this, that Satan is sh throwing our way. We yeah. got to win these battles. Yeah. We got to pray. We got to fast. We got to do everything we can. We got to live right. We got to be thankful. We got to praise God day and night, night and day for him to come and to give us the blessing that we will win. I want to win. I want to make everything I do count because that is what matters. We got to run with purpose, not just any purpose, but an eternal purpose. Our son wrote a book, and the book name was Win. And in that book, it said, don't just play the game. Uh -huh. You win. That's what yeah. we want to do. We want to win. And in the end, we're going to win if we do those things that please the Lord. And the Lord accepts our praise. Yeah. We're going to win. God Amen. bless you. Oh, bless you, Lady Ruby. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Well, let me ask a couple of questions. How many winners out here today? How many folks are willing to lose? Praise the Lord. Winners, where are you? We honor the Lord Jesus Christ today, and we thank God for all the winners. And we want to also appreciate and thank God for our honored guest today. Thank you, Jesus. I want all the honored guests, if you're in your car, to beep your horn. If you're not in the car, just to oh, wave. Hallelujah. So we can thank God hallelujah. for our honored guest. Honored guest. Praise right. the Lord. Well, I've heard a lot of good things. I've heard some wonderful songs. But I'm looking for that miracle to take place. Thank you, Lord. So I need to find somebody that has enough faith to pray with me. Thank you, Lord. 
on the faith to say to Jesus Christ, I thank you for the miracle that's about to take place in my life. Can I find anybody got enough faith? Enough faith, enough faith, enough faith. I want all the faith folks just to get ready by telling the Lord, thank you. What am I thanking God for? Well, he said to make my request known unto him with thanksgiving. I've got that expectation. I'm searching. I'm looking. I'm opening up the, the door. The mailbox is out to set. And I just believe there's a miracle in the house right now. I believe there's a miracle in the house right now. And I need somebody to touch and agree with me. Can I find anybody that got that same feeling, that same belief? Come on, you and I, let's pray together. But let's start our prayer off by just thanking him and praising him and worshiping him and magnifying. Oh, Father, I thank you. I thank you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. As we come today, we thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you for letting us assemble together. We thank you for your presence being so manifested. But right now, somebody needs a miracle. Somebody needs a miracle. Somebody needs a miracle. But oh God, we're thanking you right now. Send you anointing. Oh, yes. Let thy Shekinah glory yes. overshadow each and every one that's in this place right now. Those that are watching via Zoom, via Facebook, let them feel your presence. Oh my God, touch them right now. Touch them as only you can touch. Bless as only you can bless. And we shall praise you. Oh, we're going to glorify you today. We're going to shout to victory today. We're going to honor you today. We're going to thank you. Oh, everybody lift your voice and praise him with me. Everybody lift your voice and give God the praise. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I thank you. I praise you. I worship you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, come on, just praise him. Don't let me praise him by myself. Let's all praise him. Let's all praise him. In the name of your son Jesus, we say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to read a couple of verses from the book of Exodus, chapter number 3. And I'm going to read into your hearing verses 7 and 8 reads in this manner and the Lord said I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters for I know their sorrows and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large and unto a land flowing with milk and honey unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites I want to use my thought today you have not been forgotten. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can you let that sink into your spirit? Tell yourself I've not been forgotten. But I've got a sub thought that goes along with it. You're about to be delivered. And I need somebody to realize that God's speaking to you. You have not been forgotten. You're about to be delivered. Yes, thank you. The feelings of being forgotten are challenging feelings. When those that you felt were sincerely concerned about you may seem not to respond to you at a time of need, it can prove to be overwhelming. 
And there's times that you want to hear more than I'm praying for you. You're looking for a way out at your time of distress. And it becomes even more devastating when it appears that even God is no longer concerned about your situation. As you continue to cry and get no response, you may make the mistake of no longer praying, mm -hmm. certainly no longer expecting you, a response to come. How long should I cry? How long mm -hmm. should I pray, mm -hmm. believing that deliverance has come? Mm -hmm. How long am I to seek an answer when there is no response? Mm -hmm. How long do I keep crying to the Lord and not getting any type of response at all. What occurs in that time period where doubt begins to arise? Satan begins to use that waiting time with the hope of sifting you like wheat. He does it level by level. Folks don't backslide in a minute. And folks, sometimes they look like they're doing great. Mm -hmm. But the process has started, the sifting process. They begin asking themselves questions. Mm -hmm. They might not articulate it, but the thoughts that run through their mind. Is there a need to pray? Okay. He doesn't seem to answer. Mm. Why praise? Mm. Why worship? No need to read or hear the preaching of God's word. Thoughts continue to grow from that perspective. The next thought that comes that there's no need to be around the people of God. They're going to just tell me God is able. They don't understand that he's not hearing my cries. They're going to start saying to themselves what I thought God told me. I just made it up in my own imagination. And then finally they go into this stage. I can do what's ever right in my own eyes. Yes, one's relationship with the Lord doesn't just happen overnight. But the sifting process, the sifting process. You know, sometimes we're not cautious enough to realize that we've stopped enjoying the praise. We stopped enjoying the worship. We miss service. It doesn't matter to us. I'll just go another time. But of course, another time becomes another time. It doesn't matter to me. Praise the Lord. It's easy to understand how those thoughts come to a person. I believe I heard Elder Williams this morning talked about when you don't have the feeling. Your mind needs to remind you God promised. Yes, yes. And God's going to make a way for me. Israel spent over 200 years in Egypt. And they were in tough bondage under the taskmasters. Praise the Lord. And in the beginning, they cried unto the Lord. In the beginning, they saw God coming to them. They expect God to come to them. But at some point in those 200 plus years, they stopped believing that anything was going to change. They saw today is the same as yesterday. And they begin to project tomorrow is going to be the same thing. When a saint gives up believing that God is able, they're in trouble. Anytime you stop believing that God's word is going to come to pass, you better get a place to get on your knees and start saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You need to restore your faith in God. But I suppose 200 years is a long time from one generation to another generation. They got to a place that all they wanted to do was just survive. All they wanted to do was just accept the fact it's not going to get better. So I might as well just make it. I hate that expression, just making it. God did not bless you just to make it. 
He blessed you to become the head and not the tail. Right. He blessed you to be above only That's right. and not to be belief. Here's Israel in this desperate situation. And the cries were no longer going forth. But you know, as important as our prayers are, as important as our cries before God are, God is not limited to your prayer, to my prayer, to your faith, to my faith. I believe it's in the book of Romans in the third chapter that if ever man be a liar, let God be true. And God made a promise to Abraham. I'm going to let my people spend some 400 years in a strange land. Spend some 200 in Canaan before it was there. And then they spent another 200 in the land of Egypt. But God made a promise. Told Abraham one day, this land is going to belong to your descendants. Those that come after you. Praise the Lord, their name is going to be on the, whatever you write the thing on. The, not the bill of right, but whatever you write that, that deed on. Their name is going to be on the deed. Because I'm giving them this land. Yes, and God's word had gone out. What you need to understand there are sometimes that the promise is there, but it takes time to be manifested. It takes time for God to bring everything together the way he wants. He's never late. But he knows the exact time. So when the time was right, came to talk to Moses. Talk to Moses through a burning bush. When Moses looked at the bush, trying to figure out why this thing is on fire and not consuming, the Lord started a conversation with Moses. I want you to go into Egypt and tell my children, tell my people they have not been forgotten. I know all about their cries. I know about all the, the crying nights. I know all about it. Praise the Lord. And don't you know that same God? Same God that spoke to Israel. Speaking to you right now. That same God that spoke to Israel is saying to somebody. You have not been forgotten. I know it seems like a longer time than you wanted. But I had to put all the things right like I wanted them. All the ducks in a row. I had to dot every I and cross every T. But God's saying to somebody, I have not forgotten you. And praise Lord, not only have I not forgotten you, but you're going to be delivered. Oh, I wish I could find somebody that can feel this thing in their spirit. You're about to be delivered. When God went into Egypt, it wasn't just to release them from the taskmasters. It wasn't just to get the pressure off of them. It was to bring them to the place that God had promised. It was to bring them to a place that flowed with milk and honey. And I'm trying to get you to understand that God is not only going to release the pressure, but every promise shall come to pass. Everything he told you, it shall come to pass. And you need to have enough faith while you're waiting on him to say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I magnify you. I believe I can find somebody in here that's been asking them the question, where is God? Where is that God that I've been praising? Where is that God that I've been worshiping? Where is that God that spoke to my spirit and said I shall be blessed? Now some of you have stopped some of your prayers, but I'm telling you right now, you better start praying them again. But this time, don't just pray them. Praise them with an expectation. Praise them with a Lord, I thank you. And start singing a song that declares the God that I serve is able. We came into this place today to receive a message from the Lord. And God's telling somebody, I know everything about you. I know when you go to sleep wondering, when is the blessing coming? When you get up in the morning, when is the breakthrough coming? Well, you're about to receive everything that God has for you. And if you can praise him with me today. 
Oh, somebody, somebody give God the glory. Somebody thank him. And when you praise him, don't let it be a general praise. But see the land that flows with milk and honey. See the promise that God made to you. See what God said he's going to give to you. And look at it real closely and say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for salvation. Can I find a shouter in the house? Can I find a praiser? Can I find somebody that know God has not forgotten you? You better start praising him right now. You better start thanking him right now. You better start singing songs that say victory is mine. Praise the Lord and today is that day of victory. If I could see somebody just wave a hand and tell Jesus Christ, I started thinking that you forgot me, but I feel something on the inside. I feel the Holy Ghost telling me, you are with me. You made a promise to me. You said you never leave me. You said you never forsake me. And I believe it. I believe it. Can you testify to somebody and tell them you just thought you were forgotten. But God waited for the right time. The victory is about to happen. I can feel it in my spirit. And I'm going to praise him for it. I'm going to give God the glory. I'm going to tell him thank you right now. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. I'm looking for some victory, saints. I'm looking for some shouters. Maybe I can see somebody just open up the door and shake your leg a little bit and say, Lord, this is my shout today. I got to practice social distancing, but I can just open up the door and wave my hand and tell you thank you. I want to see somebody just wave a hand. Open that door up and just wave a hand. Shake your foot. Do something and tell the Lord, I know you didn't forget me. I know you didn't forget me. The devil tried to get me to believe. The devil tried to sip me. But I'm claiming victory. I said I'm claiming something. Any folk claiming anything, tell the Lord I thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I feel like shouting right now. I feel like shouting. Because when I read God's word, and it comes alive to me, I'm not just seeing Israel. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing everybody and I'm seeing myself. I'm hearing God. I'm hearing God say, I have not forgotten you. I have not. Are you listening, saints? Are you listening to what God's saying to you? Are you hearing what the Holy Ghost is saying? I have not forgotten you. Oh, glory. When God sends a message, I said, when God sends a message, I didn't say when a man writes something. But when, Matt, when God sends a message, he's talking to us. Didn't somebody say, get ready? Now why did I add that thought? You're about to be delivered. Why did I add that? Because you're not going to sit in your same situation. You're not going to sit and just not have the taskmasters being so forceful. I'm not talking about the easing of pressure. I'm talking about being taken from bondage into victory. I'm talking about being taken out of a terrible situation. Locked up, tied up in sin. And God delivering you. How does God deliver? How 
does God deliver somebody? Praise the Lord. Well, first of all, he left glory. Came to planet Earth. Went around for some 33 years. The last three killing folks. I got freedom for you. I got life for you. I can set you free. But say it. Get killing folks. The price must be paid for sin. That's right. The Lord in the way to the sin is death. Yeah. Breathe that into, endeavor to breathe it into the Lord's spirit. The Lord didn't say anything. Because he knew what was going to happen. Oh, yes, he did. And when the time was right, he let him take him to Calvary. No man taking my life, but I lay it down. But in three days, I'm going to pick it up again. He set us free from sin by his death, by his burial, and by his resurrection. But God's plan is not just for the hereafter. God is not just blessing us with eternal life. But he got blessings right now. Oh, yes, he does. He got miracles right now. And with that same power that he declared when he came out of the grave, all power's in my hand. All he needs to do is to speak to your deliverance. Speak to your problems. Speak to your situation. That's all he got to do. Just like he told Moses, you tell that Egyptian Pharaoh that I said I am the left to let my people go. Oh, I wish I could find somebody that know God is about to free you. God is about to talk to that demon that's been messing with you. That demon that's been trying to put his hands on you. That demon that's been discouraging you. That demon that told you God is not going to do it. God is going to just speak to that demon. And when he speaks to that demon, he's going to tell that demon, Loose my son. Loose my daughter. I got victory for him. I got joy for him. I got deliverance for him. And today is a day to accept that deliverance. In fact, everybody in this parking lot is going to accept the fact that God is walking around right now. He's like the time that he went to the pool of Siloam and said to the man, do you want to be made whole? Jesus is walking around right now and saying, I've come to deliver you. I've not forgotten you. And you got to respond somehow to him. You got to tell him, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. You got to let the Lord know, I'm so glad. I praise you. I need somebody in this place to claim the victory. I wish I could walk around and pray for somebody. But I'm letting the Lord do what he can do. And he's walking around telling somebody, let me put my hands on you and tell you, you're free. You're free. You're free. Can you accept that freedom? Give God the glory. Hallelujah. Can't walk around. But Lady Reuben, there's some blessed all here somewhere. Underneath that chair. Lord, I thank you. I'm going to anoint myself. Lord, I thank you. I'm going to ask the elders to help me. They're going to walk around this parking lot. And when I'm praying here, they're going to be laying hands on your car and God's going to speak to you and tell you you have not been forgotten. going to lay hands on you and say you have not been forgotten. And when that seeks in, I'm going to tell you this, you're about to be delivered. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, Oh, Hashemah, Lord, as the elders lay hands upon each of these vehicles, let them feel your presence. But 
each one in this parking lot feel your anointing. Lord, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, do it right now. I thank you for the victory. I praise you for the victory. I magnify, I give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Come on, praise team. Give us a song as the elders pray for the people of God. Hallelujah. give everyone that's here an opportunity to bless the work of the Lord through your tithes and offering and of course those of you that are watching that give electronically you're able to give in a variety of ways you can go to our cash app dollar sign CR church go to our church website communityrefuge.org the home page is a place that you can give you can give by mail we found out there's a Manalpin, Florida well you send what you have to Manalpin, New Jersey <laughs> P.O. Box <laughs> 725 Manalapan, that's M-A-N-A-L-A-P-A-N, New Jersey, 07726. And that did happen yesterday. Somebody came by and said, Bishop, I want to invest in the work of the Lord and brought their tithes and offering. So we encourage you. Now, next Saturday, I'm hoping to get a little help with a Zoom call. I'm going to be in the sanctuary. And it's going to be a Zoom call that I'll be able to see you and you'll be able to see me. I believe we have a, a limit of 100 people that can be on our Zoom calls. 
but I'm going to be praying for you and I'll be able to see you I'll be able to see you I'm looking over at Glenda I'm going to try to recruit her help she'll be gone somewhere no limit oh okay I'm going to still try to get her help and I'll be able to see you when I'm praying for you you'll see me so when I lay hands it won't be an empty space it'll be on you and you can send me your prayer request between now and then fredrubin1 at verizon.net or on facebook you can send me your request and then next saturday at 10 a.m we're going to have a prayer line meeting and i'll have a chance to pray with you but right now i want you to remember our country in your prayers the loss of a great woman with supreme court it's opened up another problem in our country so please keep our country our country in your prayers i'm gonna ask a blessing for those that are here you'll be able to give live and those that are watching you can go to our cash app any of the four ways gracious father we thank you for the privilege to be able to invest in your work we thank you for the joy that you've given us to return to you a portion of what you have given to us bless us all to be cheerful givers and i know that you'll bless us in ways that go beyond our understanding our comprehension in the name of your son jesus we pray come on let's receive the offering praise team helps us so very very much is selling her birth her birthday tomorrow sister real she was born she's over working somewhere doing something but i'm gonna start walking around and elder williams is gonna come around and give the final benediction come lady ruben Which way I gotta walk around. Victory, victory, victory is mine. Victory, mm, victory, victory, victory is mine. your name, God.
God, even as we leave this parking lot, we pray that the angels will accompany every car, that your blood would cover, oh God, for another week of victory. In Jesus' name, let everyone say amen. amen. In Jesus name. Sorry. 